Kevin, get your ass in here. What's up, Francine? Oh, hey, a new shipment of interns is here. Just in time for poker night. Really? I hadn't noticed. Now get these damn things out of here, please. What's with the wall of interns? The mailman just started building this around me. That looks surprisingly stable for, you know, being built of interns. Hello in there. Are any of you particularly meaty? The programmers love the meaty ones. Oh no, not this again. You can't just feed interns to the engineers whenever you need something. Uh, that's how it's always been done. It's called the circle of life. It is not! Francine, back us up here. I don't care what you do with office supplies. They're not office supplies. They're people. Look, if you want me to stay on as your new animator, then no more sacrificing interns. We can't just do nothing with the crates. After a couple weeks, they start smelling. Well, I don't know. Return them to the sender. Hey, you in there. Me? Yeah, you. What school are you from? Center of the Institute to the uh, Academy of the Higher University of Games? You don't know what school you're from? It keeps rebranding. Just check the return label. Center of the Institute to the Academy of Higher University of Games. Huh. He wasn't kidding. Hey, they're here in town. Great. Let's just go there, give them these crates back, and tell them we don't need any more interns. Knock yourself out. I've got better things to do. Fine. Okay, well, we can't carry all these crates ourselves. Let's recruit some of the others. And then, we're going back to school. You all do what you gotta do. Just make up the time and I don't care. How bad are your loans, intern? About half a million dollars. But when I'm a big designer, I'll make more than enough to cover it. Hey Ben, you up for a field trip? Uh, sure. I have to wait for my lighting to finish baking anyway, so... Excellent! Hi, Julie. Do you want to come with us on a field trip? Don't get it. I'm recording. Stop it. Okay. I guess not. One of these days, I'll actually meet her, I guess. I'm not opening this fridge ever. This fight begins now. Oh, I love the cereal as a kid. I only have time to talk about purely hypothetical philosophical design questions. This is the chainsaw juggler. He doesn't juggle the chainsaws. Common mistake. He juggles his enemies with his chainsaw hands. Hi, Viper. We need you to come with us to bring back all these crates. I don't do errands. Uh, it's not an errand. We were hoping you could help us, you know, convince them. Whoa, whoa. You mean like you need some muscle? My snack kicking radar just dinged. You're... What? My snot kicking radar detects the likelihood of snot kickery happening. If there's going to be any snot kicking, I need to be the kicker, okay? Hey, combat scenarios are all yours, big guy. I'll go get my crowbar. This map sure is handy. Timothy, do you want to come with us to return these pet crates? I'm sorry. I can't do that. Hey there, new employee! How's your first week going? Don't tell me. I actually don't have time to listen. I've got to get in the right mindset for signing things. Uh... That means you leave my office now, new employee. When I'm signing things, I get really in the zone. It's like I don't even know you're there. Okay, I actually do know you're there. Go away. Don't touch that. That's my secret cabinet.
can't believe they were putting interns down this thing. Bring all these interns back to the center of the Institute to the Academy of Higher University of Games? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm still banned from that campus. Uh, oh. Too bad. Yep, this is the meeting room. I should focus on recruiting some of the others. I had no idea there was a game design school this close. So I couldn't find my crowbar, but I brought my bat. You can't bring that on a college campus. It's an essential piece of sporting equipment, okay? Dude, it's covered in nails and says Bloody Mary on it. Seriously? Bloody Mary is a character from my favorite game, Sweaty Blood. You watch your mouth when you talk about her. I really don't think we'll need that, Viper. You're scary enough without it. Yeah, I am. I can turn anything in my environment into a weapon. See this seatbelt? I could make you choke on it, if I wanted to. Um, why do we bring him again? No one is going to choke anyone. We're just going to show up, hand them these interns, and leave. There won't be any violence. They always say that. Uh, where are we going? Edge, are you sure you have a license? Uh, hey, we lost the interns back there. Half my team go. They went out to some college to go return some interns. We have interns? Not anymore. Well, whatever. Francine, I need you to hold all my calls for the next half hour. I'm signing things, and I need to get into the zone. You don't get any calls? I need focus. Hold my emails, too. I guess I could unplug the router. Right. Absolute focus. That's how you get stuff done. Looks pleasant enough. Don't see too many students, though. Man, it's a video game college. You expect anyone to be outside? Fair point. All right. There's probably some kind of business relations clerk or something. Oh, there's a tour. Let's ask the guide. We come now to our newly refurbished Provost West building. 
named after yours truly, in honor of my record-breaking dedication to our shareholders and students. Do you actually make video games here? Don't be ridiculous. That's unhygienic. But you train them for real game development, right? Because what little Robbie wants, little Robbie gets. We adhere to strict principles of higher instruction, including a rigid curriculum of theory. The more rote task of learning which buttons to push is delegated to our robust internship program. So many big words. Impressive. Wait, you're saying you don't even train the students? Our instruction is of the highest quality among schools with a similar accreditation rating. Oh god, is this a for-profit school? Your questions are making me uncomfortable, so I'm going to ignore you now. Wait, who are you all? You look old for prospective students. It's never too late to go back to school, okay? Not if you have good credit. Why do you have a robot? Oh, that's my automated recruitment assistant. He's not ex-military, and don't you dare imply that he is. He's a recruiting agent. Sweet missiles. Uh, studies show that there's a direct correlation between missiles and enrollment. Look, we're just here to return our interns. You keep sending them to us, and we don't want them. We're from a game dev studio across town. Uh, Midge doesn't want us to keep feeding them to the engineers. Engineers have to eat too, don't they? That's what I said! Are these game devs? Like, real game devs? You make Cool Border! My son wants to work on Cool Border! I thought you said you had 100% job placement among graduates. We do! We're creating a workforce for tomorrow. Our guaranteed internship program directly leads to job placement. We've never hired any of our interns. Oh, we do use them as poker chips sometimes, though, which is close. Recruitus Maximus, escort these hecklers off campus, would you? Affirmative will destroy. Ah, quick, scatter! Scatter. I think we're safe. Now, where the hell are we? <sighs> Lost. Where's everyone else? Weren't they behind you? I wasn't running, okay? I was chasing you. Man, I didn't say anything about that. Look, military-grade robots weren't part of the deal. You can't snot kick a robot. Man, let's just get out of here, all right? Yeah, whatever. Okay, this campus can't be that big. We went down the hill, then between those two dorms, then into here, Hey, intern, do you know where we are? I've never been to this part of the school. Hopefully the others will go back to the car. So, we find the car, wait for them, get the hell out of here. All right, so which way is the car? Could ask the old dude in there. Huh? What? Man. Whew, that thing was terrifying. Where are Ben and Viper? God, we will forever board their loss. Can we stop at Best Buy on the way home? Can't we just leave the interns in some corner and go, Midge? No, we need to make sure that we put them somewhere where they won't get ignored. Like the middle of a street. Like a classroom. Let's find an empty one and put them there, then someone else will find them later. All right, well, let's find a classroom then. I guess a security officer normally sits here. Good thing they're not around. Huh. They probably spent more on this fountain than they do on their classrooms. You know, I eat cold pizza for breakfast sometimes. But not this pizza. I think this is a water fountain? I'm not sure, actually. Huh, strange. Who makes a marble bust of themselves these days? This shows you that they care about the image of caring about a campus culture. It's that administrator again. She looks scarier in a cap and gown. 
Hey kids, my name is Triangle. I'm a basic building block of 3D modeling. I'm a flat surface made by connecting three vertices in space. Ho <laughs> ho ho! We call them verts for short. Oh, what's this? It's my friend, Engon. Why so glum, Engon? I'm sad because no one wants me around. That's true. You introduce shading errors and add imprecision to modeling. No one really does want you around. What? That's not how you cheer up a friend. Don't worry. The GPU will automatically carve you up into little triangles anyway. Ah! It burns! It burns! Ah! Hooray! Now you're just like me. Remember, kids, sooner or later, everything turns into triangles. Hooray! Definitely not that room. You're the one who wants to find a classroom. I'm following your lead here, Midge. Doesn't seem like there's anything back there. Aw, oh, man. There's totally a bag of chips there about to fall. It's one of the saddest things you can find on a college campus. Hey everyone, it's Dr. Mermaid Sushi here, back with only the most killer tips, tutorials, and tricks for game dev. Just got a quick lesson today about how to activate the perspective viewpoint in the very real game editor today. Just a quick one, but first, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell for updates. Okay, now, before we get into it, I just want to say I couldn't have done this tutorial without the help of my boy, Squeezy Cheese 96 What up, dog? Check out his channel for more awesome game dev tips. Wonderful person, that squeegee. Also, I just wanted to say, Ladrachio the Slayer, you're like super uncivil and don't know my mom at all, so stop saying those things. Okay, so now, let's get into this. So if you really want to activate the perspective camera in very real, I found this really hot trick. First, you just got to make sure your computer is plugged into an outlet. Use a grounded outlet. Never ever saw off the grounding pin and use a two-prong. Trust me, okay? So you gotta use a grounded outlet. Even if you have a laptop with only a two-prong plug, always use a three-prong outlet. It's just safer, you know? It's just good advice. Okay, the next step to activating the perspective mode in Very Real Game Editor is to turn on your computer. There's usually a little button on the side. It has a little snake eyeball icon over it because, I don't know, Illuminati much, PC users? <laughs> anyway, once your computer is turned on, you gotta wait for it to... Anyway, so the next step to activating the Very Real Perspective Viewpoint is to load up the Very Real Editor. This is done by finding the icon that looks like this. Okay, so now that we have the editor loaded, we need to find one button. It looks like this. All you have to do is click that button. Boom! Perspective View. Yeah! So yeah, thanks again to my boy Squeezy Cheese 96 yo boy, for showing me this. And I hope you all learn a thing or two. Be sure to do me a fave and smash the like and subscribe buttons and join me again next week for more awesome game dev tips and tricks. Definitely not that room. Is this a lamp or a student art project or both? Do you think they still use books here? Or do they use PDF printouts stapled together? This is how you properly stack any building material. Offset them, see? Doesn't matter if you're using bricks, cinder blocks, Legos, or soup cans. Always offset. Learning proper construction techniques will take you far in life. Uh, maybe not that room. I love little nooks like these. I would have curled up here with a good comic. I'm pretty sure this plant isn't real. Apply to your dream studio every single day. You never know when someone new will see your work. Apply to your dream studio every single day. You never know when someone new will see your work. Resumes should include every app you've ever tried the demo of. Re the best way to show off my 3D modeling skills is with a long demo reel. I will get a job because I have a bigger portfolio with more stuff in it. 
I will spend more time networking than on my skills. Uh, maybe not that room. When analyzed with a proper academic eye, we see that this game is about so much more than just paddles and balls. Such a game is, in truth, a commentary on the environment in which it was made, a scathing critique of the oppressive nature of the Cold War, and a lament about government distrust. Is the human condition one in which we are perpetually juggling both offensive and defensive positions? Is the failure of our capitalistic framework resulting in a disaffected youth or is it vice versa? These are the questions directly asked by this game, and by all games. But what about Strategic Interstellar Genocide 3? That's my favorite game. Does that have a deeper meaning? That shit will rot your brain. Uh, maybe not that room. Well, it's an impressive lobby. You probably spent a lot of money making it look nice. Uh, is this seriously their curriculum? And then they send them off to us. Huh. Cool. How about that red door? That might be a good place to leave some interns. Whoa. What is this place? It's some kind of... intern hacking plant. I knew these schools were churning through students. I had no idea it was this bad. Huh, there's a lot of people in here. Who are you all? Hey, dweebs! What are you doing locked up? Ben? Holy crap, Frank! Hey, Viper, I used to work with that guy. I'm Viper. You can call me Viper. Frank, what the hell, man? How you been? What's with the chains, man? The what? Oh, right, the chains. Yeah, I decided to go into academia. This is pretty standard. Do you want me to, uh, you know, get you down? Nah, it's cool. We get health and dental. They let us walk around an hour a day, too. It's cool. What? Really? Totally, man. Good benefits, free parking, zero chance of having to fix show-stopping bugs at four in the morning. This is the life. Except there's no snack time. Otherwise, yeah, solid gig. So you're a teacher? Yeah, except we're not allowed to influence the lessons, but we help their accreditation rating, so they keep us here. So you're a teacher who doesn't teach. I know, it's great. Hey, Ben, you should join us. He will be joining you. You! Provost West! This is a faculty-only room. You're not faculty, are you? Come over here, so I can kick the snot out of you. That's against campus regulations. I don't think you really are game developers. We sure are. We work for Shovelworks Studios. Now out of my way. I think you both need to cool off in here while I consider what to do with you. No! Ah, uh, probably shouldn't have told the way we work, dude. You know when they call some college a degree factory? I never thought they were being literal. Hey, come look at this. It looks like a test print for an ad or something. Compress four years of study into four days and prepare for your new career as a game designer. Huh. Wow, that sounds great. Where do I sign up? You are a game designer. What's this? Phase two proposal confidential memo. Where's the rest of it though? Hey, help me find the other pieces for this. Sure, this is definitely more important than our personal safety. We're on it, Midge. There we go. I wonder what's behind this big door. Why do places like this always have barrels hanging around? What do they even use them for? Phase two proposal. Proposal for what? Are those slippers down there? Gotcha. Oh, wow, a real-life wooden crate. You don't find these out in the wild too much anymore. You can't hide from me, you inanimate object. Okay, let's do this together, Pylon. You look for the missing pieces of paper, I'll delegate.
Man, they just keep coming. Here's one. Wow. I wonder what these machines are building. Huh. They're building a desk. Out of students? Whatever's going on here looks really nefarious. Not practical. Gotcha. planning on renting the interns out as cubicles. I can't just stand by and watch them turn all these students into cubicles. We've got to do something. Hey! Let us out of here! It's no use. No one can hear you all the way down here. Hey, there's the intern. Intern! Get your ass over here! Man, be nice. Hey, intern. We need your help. We need you to get the keys. Steam keys? Not steam keys, you dolt. The keys to the door. We need you to go over and get the keys and bring them back to us. I'm not sure I know where the keys are. They're right there, hanging from that hook. You can see them from here. That's so far away. Is there a video tutorial about this somewhere? Just reach out and grab them. With a shovel? What the f- With your hands! Do you even see a shovel? Are we networking right now? Just get the damn keys already. Okay, I can do this. Maybe they'd be better off not being game developers, Midge. Did you think of that? Hey, help me find a way to shut this down. Cubicle walls don't have to deal with crunch or internet hate or agile development. And they have way more job security. Walls are very stable. They had to know they couldn't actually employ them all. The industry would be drowning in interns. Don't be ridiculous. You'd suffocate, not drown. They're totally misrepresenting their career placement stats. That's a secret you will never live to tell. You again. We know all about your scam of a school. I know. I've been standing here for ten minutes. You've seen too much. We can't let you get away with this. We're going to stop you. We are? And I'm going to stop you from stopping me. Yeah, and, and we're going to stop you from stopping them from stopping you. Yeah. You think you can thwart me? Well, I looked up your little company. Your boss was one of the first to sign up. What? No way. Ha! <laughs> Jeb would never sign that. Sign to the left. Sign it to the right. He's gonna sign this shit. Okay, maybe he would sign that. But that doesn't change anything. Yeah, signature or not, we can't let you get away with this. Recruitus Maximus, set your missiles to kill. Viper, quick, how do you stop a half-ton ex-military-grade robot? He's not ex-military! I don't know, make the intern do it? Don't even joke about that! <sighs> Hold it, everyone stop! 
Violence won't solve anything! Hey, you can snot kick a robot! <laughs> oh, you think you're so tough because you took out my definitely not ex-military robot? Well, let's see how you do against all of my definitely not ex-military robots! Recruiters, attack! I won't be able to convince young and impressionable kids to sign up for our accelerated development program. Yeah, it was nothing, okay? Face it, you slimy administrator. This program is done. You can't stop me. My teacher-to-student ratio is superb. All my professors have terminal degrees in their fields of study. The number of times I've had sex with graduates is within acceptable limits. You can do nothing! Not if we have anything to say about it, Provost. Hey, Frank! You had a change of heart. Who let you out? Exercise hour is not until 3 p.m. Yeah, about that. We need to talk. Now is not the time for employment negotiations. Oh, but it is. Without us, that accreditation rating you're so proud of, that's toast. Two exercise hours. And snack time. And more, Provost. Things... Things are gonna change around here. Thanks for helping us offload all these interns. It's a relief to know they're in good hands. You sure you don't want to just take some back? Interns are good to have around the office. I'll take some, sure. What? Really, Viper? You hate interns. I don't know. I could make a desk out of them or something. No, oh, we're not making desks out of them. Just one, then. A lot of snot kicking happened here today, okay? I need a memento. Oh, thanks. You won't regret it. Man, thanks for defusing things, Frank. Not sure how we were gonna get out of there. It's always good to help an old friend, Ben. Don't be a stranger. Welcome back, intern. Looks like you're here for good this time. Are you sure you're okay in that crate? Yeah, I feel safe here. Well, alright. Just bounce around or something if you need anything, I guess. HR Lady Francine! Yes? Are we networking? Nope. Will I be able to work on the game now? Nope. 